Welcome, everybody. This is uh, Travis Blythe with Corner 6 Labs, and I am here on the new show. We're going to call it the Lab Report from now on. Um, oh. How about that? Don't even though know. even though we're not in the lab. The Lab <laughs> Report. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Corner 6 Labs. Get it? Ah, <laughs> All right. Um, so today on the show, um, we're going to talk about websites, and it's going to lead into a topic we're going to probably have in two weeks in which... Um, the other better looking half of Corner 6 Labs, Dwayne and McLeish, will be in talking oh, about yeah, yeah. Um, some of the things you need to consider when designing a website, some of the differences in websites, and why when we design websites, we rock it and we are the best. Um, so today, um, you know, we're just going to talk probably real quick because I know we're out, we've been running late. We're in overtime right now, but that's okay. Um, we are going to talk about um, some websites. I think um, we're going to look at the Fireplace Girls website. She said she may need some tweaking, so we may look at it and give her some ideas on, on what we think. Um, and then just kind of go from there. And I'm sure these two lovely ladies on either side of me will have a, a ton of questions that hopefully that I can answer. Um, and we're going to go from there. So if you want to check us out, you can hit us up at www.corner6.com, um, spelled out C-O-R-N-E-R-S-I-X. Uh, you can reach me. Uh, my last name is Blythe, B-L-Y-T-H-E, at corner6.com. Our Twitter handle is at corner6labs. And we have a Facebook fan page, so come and like us, please. We need more fans, and um, you can hear all about the cool stuff going on in the lab. Um, you can uh, interact with us, ask us questions and whatnot. And, and um, also, if you want to email me, I'd love to get email, and I can sign you up for our, our lab report monthly newsletter, which uh, talks about where we're going and what we're doing and what's new in the lab other than the show. So with that... Um, I don't have a guest today, um, so we're just going to kick it off. But we love and, you anyway. Well, thank yeah. you. We love you too. Uh, so um, I'm just going to start. Okay. You, have a, you have a question to kick it off with, or do you just want me to keep talking? Well, I mean, I know that there's a, a lot of people who are using the the social media, either WordPress or, or uh, Blogspot or whatever, as opposed to the... Um, uh, a, a HTML type of thing, and and how how are y'all finding? One of the things I talked to you is they're 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 getting that, but the, that the SEO how does that how involved is that? It, I mean, it looks simple because you can do it, but one of the things y'all do is is how you load it, the metadata, and the other things that that's important, especially with your uh, your social media work, your with your blogging type. Mm-hmm. Is that, that's called CSS management or CSS software, the content. Content management system? Yeah. CMS. CMS. Um, well, yeah, one of the things, uh, you know, I want to start out by saying is all the websites that we design, we design on WordPress. Um, so what that means to everybody listening out there is if you don't know, WordPress actually has uh, two different sides to themselves. There's the WordPress.com, which is the blogging site, which a lot of people know when they hear WordPress, they automatically right. just associate yeah, the that site. with the with blogging, and it's free. Yeah. Except if you get a plugin. <laughs> um, and then, well, some of the plugins are free. They yeah. got the free ones, but of course, you know, like everything, there, there's yeah. upgrades. Yeah. Um, and then they have another side to them called WordPress.org. Um, we prefer to build the majority of our websites on WordPress.org. It's free also. Um, the only thing you need to do is know kind of what you're doing when you start messing around with it. They um, claim they have a five-minute install in which you can take your domain name and, and you upload a theme and go from there. Um, why a lot of the developers and programmers like it is because you can pick a theme um, from several different uh, websites that are out there. Uh, you pick a theme that you think is going to fit your company, and then um, as a developer, you can go in and customize those themes. Um, so if you do know how to do your HTML and write code and all that, you can go in and, and tweak it and change it and make it how you want to. But the, nut, the nuts and bolts and the kind of the shell of it is already, is already done, so you don't have to start from scratch. Um, and, you know, I have one of those. I have the, the one in a box or something, art in a box. I have a subscription to it. <laughs> so what we what we normally do is, um, even though we are using you know some templates for some people, we kind of sit down with you and kind of figure out what your likes and dislikes are and what you're after and, and how you envision your site looking. And then we go out and find a couple things and then run it by you. And um, then we work on colors and fonts and uh, all kinds of different things um, until we get it 
to how you want it, and then we design your website that way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, why is that better than say something out there like Joomla? Uh, I'm not saying that it is. Uh, for you know, uh, I know it there are some some people prefer one or the other. I think it just depends on you know your programmer and what he likes. Uh, our company. We prefer WordPress. Well, you know, I know um, Jimmy's gone too. You, you're been, you're looking at, you're doing WordPress right now. Uh, I use both. Yeah. I, it depends on what I'm working on. Yeah, yeah. Both of them have, you know, good things and bad things about them. So, you know, okay. it just depends on what you're doing. Can you mix them up? No, nah, not really. I unless you know, like an extension happens to be written for both. It's just not. See, good. I don't understand extensions. Mm -hmm. I and and maybe that's something that we don't need to go in here because because maybe a lot of people aren't doing that part. But uh, that and when you add a page on the on the on the WordPress is um, if you add okay. add it on on the WordPress uh, add a page, you don't get a chance to be able to section it out. It needs to be one post, so you can't just put in a page. And start having more different posts. It's it wants one post, and so maybe that's just I guess me. I, I'm confused at what you mean by that. Well, it it it, it, it puts everything together when you add a page. You, it, you know, on your well, you're talking with, we, with WordPress. Yeah, and, and, and this may be maybe not the show to do that because I'm getting into a technical area. But what I find is my hardest thing in dealing with it is it. And I'm used to coming from a Dreamweaver or just a standalone pages where you do a page and you point it at each other. And when you add a page and put it in the menu on your WordPress, then it seems to want to um, keep it all all in one post rather than separate. So if you do a, let's say I do the hosts, mm -hmm. they're all in one long deal rather than individually. So I, I, anyway, that's like I mean, instead of having individual pages, you could yeah. you could create individual pages for everybody. Yeah, and then have it point to it. Right, I guess, and maybe that's where it starts. You can mix it so and sometimes you can make your you, you know each page can have a subset of menus. You that's, just yeah, you well, just kind of need to know what you're doing to yeah, figure that out. Yeah, and there I go, there I go, and, yeah. And, and like I and like I said, the great thing about um, you know one of the great thing about the themes is normally when you create a new page, you if the theme was created right, and you have several options of how you want that specific page to seems, work for yeah. you. And if you and if you don't like what those options are. Well, then you just go out and get yourself some plugins, or if you've got the designing and you know the HTML knowledge, you can it go ahead. It seems like and my second page always looked like can, my first page. Well, you can and you can change that. You just got to know what section it is in. And I'm, you know, I'm slowly but surely learning the WordPress myself. That's why I know that it's there because I'm uh, working on a, a personal site. So I know that this, the one, that, the theme that I'm using at least has three options of of designs on on how I can format the page. Now, if I want to switch that, I can go get some plugins, and then I can add plugins that'll that'll change the whole look and feel. Okay, so that's how they give it that look, because I'm looking at it going, you don't see the navigation bar at the top, you don't see the other stuff, and it really looks like a website. And so, and and it is easy for the people to make changes, but not necessarily, you know, I guess there's that advertisement out where they have the person with the book, yeah, we're doing our website and whatever. And so by going somewhere and having somebody like your company mm -hmm. design design it. Yeah, if you go to our website, which is, you know, www.corner6.com, um, Ours, you, ours is built on WordPress, so it looks it looks like a website. It doesn't look like a blog. I mean, some people know how blogs look, and most blogs have the same, you know, all your posts on one side and, and different things, and it, it, you know what a blog page looks like. Um, but you know, you can design. It's meant to to design it as a website, but the the benefit of it is you get the content management system on the back end, which means basically means that you can go in and if you if you've ever used WordPress, you ever used WordPress. No, sir. No? Okay. Well, if you've ever used WordPress, the blogging side, it ha it, you, then you can instantly know what you're doing. Um, and you can, um, you can change the words. You can change out your pictures. You can do different things because um, if you're familiar with how the blog works, then you'll be familiar with the back end on this too. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, the key is having the content, you know, and that's one of the things. You can't do any anything until someone gives you content. Poor Jimmy, you know, you're working with my stuff, and the longest time, you know, you have to decide what you're going to write. And yeah, and that, that's one of the, the biggest things with, you know, companies that design websites that I hear a lot, you know, and it is something that we face a lot too is um, – People say it takes them so long. They take it so long, but, yes, they're, they're, they're waiting. You know, we're waiting on them to get, you know – pictures and logos and the mm -hmm. content because they want us to provide it um, 
And that's, so, yeah, they can't cr go in your head and become your yeah. mind. Because the next thing that happens is you come back and they go, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, I like in a lot, in, in a big way to, if somebody was an artist, for instance, we have a lot of people that do art in the back, and mm -hmm. they'll oh, go yeah. out there and they'll paint their own their own paintings. It would be a lot like if that artist was to come in here, tell me what to paint, and I had to go over there and do it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not going to come out as well. It's not what you were originally thinking. Hopefully it's going to be usable. But it is. I mean, it's somebody else's yeah. artistic idea of what they want it done, and you have to figure out what it what that is. And, and you know.